Hello everyone, my name is ClickFlow and welcome back to another live stream here in the Thrive Guide. Yes, we are going to be back working on the Great Hall of our Nocturne Castle and I'm pretty excited about that. But before we get into that, just I'd like to welcome everybody out. Welcome, welcome, whether you are here watching this live or whether you're watching this uh, on my YouTube channel after the fact. Thanks so much for being around. It's I'm excited to uh, to have this time, I guess. Yeah. I don't think I have any other announcements or anything, so I think we can jump straight into the game. Of course, uh, like always, if there is any problems with audio and or frame rate or the game or anything like that, make sure to let me know, and I will try to accommodate you guys as much as possible. Oh, it's good to be back. I haven't really done anything since the since the last stream. Things have been kind of crazy. It looks like it's about time to actually take a nap. So might as well do that really quick. Alrighty, well, let's get to building. Okay, I'm gonna set up uh, just like our little camp type stuff here with all our shulker boxes and things like that. I think that's everything. Might as well actually throw those guys into my inventory. Okay, so now we want to make the, the framework of the next building up. That's kind of the thought process that I'm going through. So right now this is pretty good framework for the, the main floor area. I'm really liking this. Of course we do have a lot of work to do with this front, but I'm not I haven't really decided what I want to do there yet. I don't know. I, I think I do want to have some sort of like main big like front door entrance in which you can uh, get in and out of but I haven't quite decided on like decorations and stuff like that. I've kind of decided against windows just because windows on uh, curving blocks really doesn't work that well. They don't connect up and stuff like that. So that's probably where we're at there. But um, I think I have an idea of what I want to do with the next floor up. So let's go ahead and hop up there. Awesome. So I'm thinking we're going to start actually beveling this outwards. So if we go like that, yeah, perfect. Might need to go like this. Oh, that's a torch. Awkward.
Hmm, how is this going to work here on this curvature? Maybe we'll just... Um, no, I don't think I like that. Let's, yeah, let's cut this out. Yeah, this is gonna take a lot of uh, placing and breaking blocks, but that's okay. I don't think that's gonna be too big of a deal. Yeah, this is going to probably take a little bit longer than I would hope, but that's okay. I think it'll look good doing it this way. Okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. It took a long time, but I don't know if it was worth it. We'll see. Alrighty, good stuff. Okay, so now we'll come up another block out, just like this. I'm thinking we'll come out blocks like that. We'll come out diagonally. 
three or four blocks like that, and then we'll build up a bit again. I think that'll be okay. Let's try that out and see how that works. We shouldn't ever come in contact with this roof, although it should be kind of close, which is a good thing, I think. We'll see. It's already night time again? Wow, that was quick. Hmm. Let's see how this kind of is looking from the floor here. Yeah, I like that. And these, these pillars kind of feel like they're supporting that. I might even take some nether brick, like the nether brick stairs, and invert them. That would be kind of a pain to do, but I think it would look good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, cool. Let's continue at it.
Okay. And... Maybe we'll do one more. And then start building up the framework for the second floor. That sounds about right.
All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at it from below. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and build up the second layer. Don't want this spider climbing all over our castle, right? <laughs> all right, okay. So we got that build up now. I think we can build up the frame of the next uh, story windows. So let's go ahead and grab some more blackstone. And I'm not, I think we'll do the frame the same as we did the bottom floor, but I'm not sure how I want to do the the decoration part. I'm not sure how I want, like if we want to have these pillars there as well, and how we're going to incorporate that because they're going to start at that level right there. So, hmm. Tricky one. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I would love to hear them. How tall did we make these windows? Probably want to replicate that. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks of empty space. So that means we want that to be one, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one block above that to cover it up. So then we can place a block there. That's too low. Yeah, no, that, no, that's good. Yeah, like that. Let's see how that looks. I think that's correct. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. Okay, let's go frame out the footprint of everything and then we'll go from there, I think. Okay, one, so we need to have a one, two, three block gap. Like that. And then a block there, block there. Yeah, like that, I think. One, two, three, block, block. One, two, three, yeah, and then this goes all the way around. One, two, three, block, block, and then one, two, three, block, block, cool, one, two, Three block, okay. One, two, three block, block, and then one, two, three. Sweet, and one. Two, three, block, block. That's correct, right? Oh, I forget. This isn't going to match up exactly because we're out by a few blocks. Interesting. Okay, so that's where we want it to match up, but I don't think it will. Hmm. That's a good point. I'm not sure what to do about that.
Hmm. Maybe we'll just build it how we have been. So we can put one there. And then we'll kind of see how it turns out. One, two, three. Interesting. Okay, so we have two blocks on that side and three blocks on this side. One, two, three. And then just two there. Wait, not even. Just one block there. Awkward. Hmm. Let's see, how many window wells do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we got rid of one of these window wells and just did seven window wells, that would work pretty good. So we have three, and then place a block, and then a block like that. Um, so now we have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one more over. Like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that works, I think. Let's look back at that. You have one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. So you have eight windows. And then this is kind of the odd one now. I think that works okay. I like that. There's a creeper on my roof. That's not allowed. Okay, let's see how to do this. I believe we did one, two, 
three in, and then we started placing our um, window wells. So if we look this way, I believe that is where it is. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So that should work out for us. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, wait a second. Is that in line with what we have here? I think it is. Yeah, I think that's okay. One, two, three. Block, block. Cool, yeah, I think that is it. Great stuff. Are we out of... We're kind of getting low on blackstone. Let's run over to this other one and start building these window wells up.
Okay, let's take a look at this now. That, I think, is looking mighty fine. I like that. Oh, I like that quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's keep on taking this all the way around. Let's grab some more blackstone while we're here. So now those two are empty. We're on our final shulker box of blackstone. Okay, let's get going. Oh, what in the world? We've got some enemies <laughs> hanging out on our tower. Got him. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, yeah, let's continue this uh, pattern around.
that's looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, even that one in the middle still looks really good. As long as it looks symmetrical, I think it looks pretty decent. We still got. We're still really good on Blackstone. I think we don't need to head back quite yet, but it is something to keep in mind as we're building. Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream! Good to see y'all. Good to have you here. Looks like we need a little bit more 
polished blackstone brick. How has your week weekend been? Good, I hope. Been pretty good. Awesome, awesome. Pretty average. <laughs> Same, same. Had kind of a hectic week, but it's been a good one nonetheless. And there it is. Let's take a look from over here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. Very nice. Okay, um, we could probably go ahead and see what we can do about filling in this with blackstone. And then let's work on some decorating. I think we really need to figure out how to decorate the exterior of this wall so that it looks um, similar to the, the floor be below it. I don't want it to stand out. And I don't want it to be too plain, especially not this building. This building is the great hall that we're working on. I'm just continuing the build project from last stream to this second floor and I'm thinking it's looking pretty good.
nice nice we are flying through this which is fantastic And that is our last little bit of blackstone, so let's grab a bit more. Nine stacks should be more than enough to finish this guy off. Probably gonna need more nether brick and quartz pillar. Oh well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Excuse me. And there it is. Okay, 
So now we have to figure out what in the tarnation we're going to do with the decoration. I'm thinking some more crying obsidian and then quartz pillars like we have been doing. But uh, I'm kind of wondering how we're going to fit that into this. Let's see. I'm going to put most of the black stone away so it's not in my inventory so we can play with some of these other things. Crying obsidian, I think yes. And a block of quartz pillars. Okay. Okay, so what I'm kind of thinking is we're going to do something like this. And then block of obsidian like that. And then or just like a row of obsidian, crying obsidian like that. Then of course we can do our crying obsidian and then quartz pillars like that all the way up. How does that look? Hmm. I feel like the crying obsidian is a little close to the window well. Where here we had a block gap between the window. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you think that, how does that look? I'm not sure, I can't decide. I guess we can always go for a little bit and then see how it ends up.
Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's kind of a lot of nether brick. Hmm. May I don't know, maybe it looks pretty decent. Maybe you guys would think it'd look good. Going all the way around, I think it might look actually kind of nice, so maybe we'll go with it. See how far we can get anyway.
And that is the last of our nether brick stairs. So I think we should do a quick flyby of it, see how it's kind of looking. Maybe we can come peek at it over here. I like that. I like that deep purple look. Yeah, I think that's looking actually pretty good. That's not looking too bad. Let's come look at it from over here. Not bad. Yeah, I think that looks good. Well, sweet. Yeah, let's keep doing that around it. I mean, so we're going to need a lot more uh, nether brick stairs. Which there is one. Oops. There's a couple just right here <laughs> that I used for scaffolding. Um, but that's okay. Like We can go grab those and throw those on up. But I really like the the nether, I mean the crying obsidian, I think that really adds to it. Um, and this kind of looks like it's supporting that, so I think we definitely need to keep the crying obsidian and those nether brick stairs in. But yeah, so I think that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing for the whole way around. And that's also gonna give it a little bit more depth, I think, which I'm excited about that. Right, so we're gonna need a lot more quartz and we're gonna need a lot more uh, nether brick. So one of the things I think I will do uh, actually is take a bunch of my nether rack and throw it in the super smelter. I think that would be ideal. Oh, we need to dump off some of these things just because I'm OCD. Yeah, get all those things out of the inventory. I am actually going to uh, going to kind of clean up this area. Now I'll leave I'll, ta I'll take down the scaffolding as well. I think it would be good to kind of clean things up so that uh, we can uh, take a nice looking screenshot of everything, get things going nice that way for like the thumbnail of this video when I upload it to YouTube. That would be cool. <laughs> Cool beans, got that going for us. Yeah, let's grab a bunch of that netherrack and throw it in the super smelter and get that smelting up so that we can have some more nether brick. We could also go to like another fortress and take down a couple pillars using a beacon. 
And I don't think there's a, so much wrong with that. But we just have a lot of netherrack already. I guess we don't have as much as I thought we did. But if we take that much netherrack, yeah, that's quite a bit. And we dump that in here. We also need to grab some more fuel. Let me go grab some coal. We can mine that up really quick. We need our fortune three pickaxe. Oh, do I not have any more coal ore? That is awkward. Man, I... Does that mean I ran out of fuel? Wow. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm out of... Okay, I'm out of coal. That's something that definitely needs to be considered. Um, I might have to do some more mining in next stream so that we can get some of that. And it might be worth it to just go over to another fortress and dismantle a couple of legs of that with a haste to beacon. I think that's probably what we're going to do. Um, to get the nether rack. I mean that nether brick, I should say. But yeah, so that is how we're going to be doing things. We also need to mine some more quartz. So maybe in the next stream, we'll spend some time in the nether, mining out some nether brick and some quartz so that we can continue this, uh, this operation. And yeah, we'll see how those go. I think I actually am going to end the stream uh, right about now. I know it isn't 9.30, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of... Uh, I've, I've got a lot to do before tomorrow morning, uh, getting back into school and work and such. So I'll probably leave you guys there. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the, the support that you guys give to the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for always helping out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this stream. It's, it's, it's been more of a chill one today. Haven't had a whole lot of uh, people chatting and therefore haven't been, I, I haven't been chatting a lot. So maybe that's a good thing, maybe not. I hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, if you want to catch the next live stream, we're going to be going back at it on Wednesday this coming week. And like I said, we'll probably in the, be in the nether gathering some resources and maybe we'll come back and uh, finish up this great hall exterior. But I think that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name has been ClickFlow and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now.